the genius of this film is that over the course of the six hours, you begin to see heroes and villains on each side of the conflict, and also eventually see instances of heroism and villainy within individual people. Take us through when your contact at the Oregon Historical Society says, hey, there's all this stuff. They have a huge wall of VHS tapes, those 525 raw umatic tapes, and it kind of just says Roshnish above it. And it, it was almost like, it was, I, I, I finally, I think we just started talking about what the story was, and a film archivist had just started working there. He's from Brooklyn. And he started telling me the story a little bit, and it was almost one of those things where it's like, I mean, truthfully, by the time he got to like, and then they bust in homeless people and they try and take over the county, like by the time he got to that point in the story, I was questioning whether he was telling me something real or not. Um, <laughs> but really, and it, it, that first aha moment was not even so much about the poisonings or the attempted murders. I mean, obviously those are fascinating parts of the story, but the first tape that we kind of popped in and watched, it was almost a realization that like these, these people in red have built a city in the middle of the Oregon desert. And that alone was enough for me to be like, I am so fascinated by the story and I want to learn as much as I can about it. 